going on, everybody? It is Physical Friday, and I got a question from Chris on the text line, 305-930-7346. That is how you can also text questions to me if you like. You can get on the Mindset Monday there, too, if you text Mindset to that number, 305-930-7346. Every Monday, you'll receive a little quote um, and my thoughts on that quote. Uh, It's very simple, very short, and uh, a lot of people really like it, and I like doing it. So if you're interested in the Mindset Monday, you can get on that. You can also use a text line like this to ask me a question. It says, uh, Tom, I've really enjoyed your content. Had a quick request that you may have already addressed on prior podcasts. What about flexibility and comfort on the bow of the boat? I just fished five days down in the Keys, and my hamstrings and lower back were really thrashed. I have done an intro class with UHP, but it could be worth a discussion on Physical Friday. Thoughts? Okay, so that is, that's a pretty common thing. Someone goes to the Keys, goes to Louisiana, goes to Panhandle of Florida, goes to South Carolina, wherever you're going, you're going to go fish for a week, for five days. Those are five, eight to ten hour days. And I don't know what Chris does for a living, but I would imagine that it's not being a fishing guide for, for, you know, 10 hours a day. So what you're asking your body to do is something that it's not used to doing. So how can you properly prepare yourself for that? And the answer is, unfortunately, um, it's, you can do a lot of things that are going to make it much, much easier on you. But the thing that you could do to, you know, make the biggest difference would be to, to be out there more, right? And, and that's what fishing guides do. There are a lot of ways that you, I mean, you can get in shape for basically anything, right? Standing on a boat every single day is no different than running a marathon or um, doing a, an Ironman. If you're not training for those things, then your body is not used to what you're asking it to do, and therefore you're going to have some issues with it. Now, can you properly prepare away from the water? You can do a lot of things that will really help. He was saying that his hamstrings and lower back were really super tight and was wondering if it was something about flexibility. He mentioned that he is doing... Um, the introductory course to UHP, which is Ultimate Human Performance. That's my friend Joe Hippensteel. And that is absolutely something that we probably, we all should be doing that course or some other course that you can do consistently. I like UHP um, because Joe spent some time with me. I've seen great benefits in it, and I can do it consistently it's really the first program that i have stuck with for more than a year doing it every single day i think probably if i did yoga every single day for a year i would see great benefits in that too my problem has been that i get tired of these things and i don't stick with them long enough to get the benefit and i think that's a lot of our problems maybe you try yoga for a little while and and you just don't stick with it for whatever reason I stuck with the UHP. I have made remarkable progress in my own flexibility. I think that you could too if you were to do it every single day. UHP is a great program. It is definitely not the only program that can help you to get flexibility in your calves, hamstrings, lower back, throughout your entire body. So the most important thing is to find something that you like to do, can do, understand, can do it in you know your home or on the road or wherever you don't have to go to this particular yoga teacher you don't have to go to this particular gym to do it you can do it anywhere maybe you learn it from this particular yoga teacher and then you can replicate it at home or in the hotel room or on vacation or whatever but finding a program that you can do that will help greatly and being more flexible will help you on the boat um to, to be uh, able to, to stand there for longer. But other things that I would suggest is that simply standing for eight hours is hard to do, and most people don't 
do it. So if you are someone who um, loves to fish in the, you know, on a skiff and you're trying to get prepared so that you can be as attentive as possible, maybe you could stand more at work, okay? And so that sounds super simple, but instead of sitting at your desk, could you use a standing desk? Uh, I know a lot of places have standing desks now, and if you were able to use a standing desk as opposed to sitting like I'm sitting right now, if you do this for six of your eight hours that you're there, eh, that's not going to be as good for preparation on standing on a skiff as if you were standing on a, you know, standing up. And if you had some sort of BOSU ball underneath your desk where you could stand on something that was, you know, required a little bit of balance and, and a little bit of, of moving around to, to stay comfortable, that could help greatly too. So that would be my number one thing is try to stand more before you're going down there. And I'm talking about months before, like not, not, not a week before, but, you know, you're, you got a trip planned in April. Well, how about around Christmas time? you get that standing desk and, and, and you spend, you know, half your day standing. And then you spend three quarters of your day standing over the course of the next couple of months. Then you're spending the whole day standing. If you can do that, you're going to be much more comfortable on that boat standing there all day long. Other things that you can do is to continue your flexibility training. That's fantastic. Definitely do that. But also throw in some strength training of those areas <coughs> that, that you're talking about. Uh, hamstrings, um, you can you can do all kinds of hamstring strengthening. Uh, a Romanian deadlift with very light weight at first is very good. That's a stif stiff-legged deadlift, and these things will light your hamstrings on fire. So make sure that you're going in light to begin with, very light and very low rep. Work your way up to heavier and more reps because I'm telling you, you, you will – your hamstrings will be super sore. One of my favorite lower back exercises is just to lay on the ground, face down, and lift your your chest and torso off the ground, your arms off the ground, your neck off the ground. And as you're arching your back, you also are lifting your your quads, your knees, and your ankles off the ground. So the only thing remaining on the ground is your hips. And then go back down. This is called a Superman. Go up and down like that in a Superman, that's fantastic. Planks, push-ups, all of those are core strengthening exercises. They can help as well as strengthening the most important part of your body for this is your legs. There's not a lot of better exercises than uh, air squats or body weight squats where you're not, you don't have a bar on or anything like that. You're just, you're just squatting down and getting up. If you're <clears throat> not comfortable with this movement or you've never done it before, sit in a chair and get up. Then go to a lower chair and a lower chair and a lower chair until you're sitting all the way down on something that may not even be a chair. Maybe it's a sandbag or maybe it's some, some low bench or something like that. You sit down on that and you get up. You sit down on that and you get up. Eventually, you'll be able to do it without having to sit down on that and you're doing a proper air squat. Air squats are very good for your for your uh, quads and legs. They're giving you strength throughout your hips, and those are muscles that you're going to be using on the boat. Uh, walking is fantastic. If you can just walk a lot before you get on the boat, that is great. If you can have a light backpack on to give a little extra resistance as you're getting closer to your trip, fantastic. But I really believe that the standing and the flexibility and the lower back strengthening of the Superman are going to be big um, movers in making you have a better trip next time and feeling very good by the end of the week. Now, one more thing that doesn't have anything to do with strength, but it was something that I witnessed my entire fishing career. When people would come for the five days, they'd be real good in the beginning. And by about Wednesday, they'd start to lose steam. Thursday... They're moving real slow, and by Friday, man, they are worn out. And what I witnessed was a, a gradual dehydration over the course of the five days. So they didn't get dehydrated on day one. They just didn't quite drink enough. And then on day two, they didn't quite drink enough. So by day three, they're diminished. They're, 
they are definitely not where they should be in their hydration. Maybe they're going out at night, drinking some beers, doing whatever, which is increasing or, or contributing more to the dehydration state that they're in. And they're trying to drink enough water, but now you're behind and it's hard to catch up. And you're also behind in your electrolytes. And so having a, an electrolyte replacement drink like Element, L-M-N-T, Element. We had Rob Wolf on the podcast. He talked to us all about hydration and your sodium needs, potassium, magnesium. And that's what Element has in it. It is sodium, magnesium, potassium. That is a really good one. Um, there are many other hydration things on the market. That's the one that I like. But even if you're just going with a Gatorade, man, just anything to get these uh, electrolytes back in. And if you're, if you're trying to avoid sugar or whatever, then at night make sure that you're putting plenty of salt on your food. Make sure that you're getting the salt that you need. But the best thing is to get a really good electrolyte replacement element. And we have a link in the description here. You can get a, you know, whatever they're offering uh, this month, right, last time it was a free sample pack. If you if you got some Element, they'd send you another 12 for free. It was a good deal. Um, Element is, is one that I particularly like. And if you are able to add that in every day and drink enough water, then over the course of the five days, you're going to be able to maintain your energy levels much, much better than becoming gradually dehydrated over those four days so the strengthening the flexibility and then paying attention to not only how much water you're drinking but also are you getting the proper electrolytes i think that is going to make a big big difference on your next trip all right that's it for today talk to you next week see ya